welcome home, all of you. It's time again for the Call of Duty Zombies Armory. Let us get to it. We have today the American-made M16 rifle. Formerly known as the AR-15 rifle, it was adopted by the US military and adapted for semi-automatic, fully automatic and three-round burst fire mounts. First seen use in the Vietnam War and still used as the primary service rifle for the US military. After extensive study of battlefield reports from World War I and II, it was concluded that most combat took place at short range. As such, aiming proved difficult, and the faster fire rate weapons were more often victorious. Conversely, high fire rate led to faster ammo depletion, but more ammo also leads to more weight, something not ideal in close combat situations. Thus, a lightweight weapon and lighter ammo cartridges were of necessity. Chambering the 5.56x45mm NATO cartridge, standardized among NATO countries since 1980. However, the Belgian variant was ultimately chosen, as it included a small steel tip to improve body armor penetration. Located on every Black Ops map, often found close to the power room area for a fair amount of 1,200 points. Capable of carrying 150 rounds with 30 in a single magazine in a 3 round burst fire mount. Compared to the assault rifles available in the mystery box, it has low damage. As such, it is often avoided unless conveniently close by, as it tends to be in Kino de Toto, or when need exceeds greed. However, still of sufficient use in the first 15 rounds, due to easy headshots with such a controllable recoil. Conversely, because of the 3 round burst fire mode, the M16 fails to keep pace with the expanding horde. Able to stretch another round or two with the use of double tap and deadshot decking, a truly lethal combination for the M16. Made more fierce with the 5000 point pack a punch upgrade, which delivers significant and unique enhancements, transforming into the Skull Crusher. Granting fully automatic fire and 300 total munitions and an underslung grenade launcher with 9 grenades. These grenades do a maximum damage equal to 2 claymore mines around the center of a 10 meter radius. Minimum damage equates to less than 4 times the maximum. Generally incapable of kills, it serves as a useful support weapon. Much like the Imploder, creating crawlers and sharing damage, alleviating your teammates' workload. As for the fully automatic rifle itself, fire rate equates to the maximum of 937 rounds per minute. Magazine size stays at 30, resulting in the need for constant reload. However, as the fastest reloading assault rifle, disregarding the Predator's dual magazine capability, this is alleviated to some degree. It is not like the imploder of the golden years, but it will suffice. This concludes our session. Good luck.